So you're not trying to make no money. Well, I didn't do anything. All right. So my son messed up my hair. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. Smith cut. I didn't so do nothing. So now, instead of trying to grow my hair out, he's just going to take it all off. But this is the process. He's trying to learn how to cut hair. And I'm trying to work with him. Instead of going to the barbershop. I, do, I cut better than barbers. And, um... Try to make a little allowance money. Hope this is recording. Last time I did. That was the first time I cut my hair. It's not cutting nothing. All right, then you need to change the guard. You heard me? Stop. <laughs> oh my God. He's changed the guard because he really wasn't cutting nothing. Cut now. So right now he's learning, trying to see if he liked this, and um, probably in the fall or something we're gonna see if we can get him into a, a school so he can, you know, learn properly everything he needs to know to get a license, and. You know, it's an option of a career because I think it's a lot of money in barber services that's not being utilized because you got a lot of the barbers. They don't want to come in early no more. I used to see all the time the barbershop used to be open at 5, 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the morning. Now you're lucky if a barber coming in at 10, 11, 12 o'clock, they're straggling. I don't, I don't know. To me... Even though they stay open later, if I had a barber business, I'd have me some early barbers. You start cutting then. And, <laughs> and so, so later barbers to come in, you know, to have little heads to come late. But, um, yeah, it's money to be made, even with COVID. How many barbershops was closed? You could have been had out your back of your house, in the backyard. Running you a little barbershop, cleaning people up, and you could have made a fortune. A lot of people wouldn't even cut nobody here. You could do it on the side, make you some side money, or you could do it as a full time job. And it really pays for your it pays for itself. The clippers and such, trimmers and everything. If you cut your own hair. Because you're not paying for, you know, out, outside maintenance. So, this is just one option I'm giving him. And it's just, you can have your own business. You don't have to work for nobody else. So, what do you think about that, Cece? Everybody, this is Cece. Why you got it on me? So what do you think about what, what what I'm trying to? It's okay. He's been cutting my hair now since the spring. I haven't been back to the barber shop. Anytime I feel it's getting too much from my wigs, I just let them come and buzz it back down. I don't know if I ever let my hair grow back again. Now I look in the front, y'all see it look like it's trying to grow back in. I've been using some oil. That I got off uh, somebody YouTube ad advertising. I feel like it's trying to fill in a little bit. You can still see it's light. But it's it's definitely thicker in spots. I've been growing this out now. I say about two months, right? Mm -hmm. Going on two. Yeah. So it's not bad. But if he didn't give me the Stephen A. Smith cut. <laughs> I would have kept going. I was going to try to go. Until the end of the year. And see if that, you know, how much I can get that front to fill in. If it didn't look that bad. Then I was, I was going to make a decision then. And nobody say no bad things, bad comments or nothing. He's just learning. He's just it's learning. not filming. Yes, click, it click it. It is filming. Why? He's trying to make his money to get his uh uh Madden something two thousand twenty four or something like that. So
So I give him a little odd jobs to do around the house. Come on, guy. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I ain't looking no worse than you left me with this Stephen A cut. Now, shouldn't he turn my head sideways like that and hold, like, hold the front of my head while he's doing that? <laughs> oh, my God. That? No, CZ. No. I hope your, your, your friends at school see this because you just went upside your mom's head. That's not nice. You're supposed to hold it like this. I, I threw the barber pole in the head. I got some out. <laughs> you know they got that little brush thing in there too, right? You know the chair spin too. You can turn me around. They had some Dragon Ball Z shirts on, um, what's that old website? I think it was, uh, Tilly's. They had some cool Dragon Ball Z, um, shirts if you want to look on that. See if you like any type of school. Now, why'd you switch clippers? I don't want those no more. Is it cutting? You know your duties as a barber includes cleanup. Go to the bathroom be waiting for you. Get all this hair out. Yeah. So you can get more people could see. <laughs> I'm gonna have to turn that light off behind me because it's making it look like my head is uneven. This? No, the one behind me. Which one is? No, no, not that one. The big light behind me. So you just turn that off. Press the button. Oh. You did you pull that edge up. Mm -hmm. He keep telling me edge up is not a word, a terminology. So I guess that's the shape up. So I call it edge up.
When people make videos, that's when people want to sing songs and such. Help them uh, I'm filming a video. I don't know if you know that or not. You know that thing filming. Let me let you get on here so you can't get this off. You're not supposed to tell the barber what to do, ma'am. All right, you're going to get something to take it lower, right? You know that I, I, my head goes all the way down. That's not acceptable. So now he said he's going to take the guard off, and he's going all the way, but I got to find a way to blend this edge. Why we got to look at your stomach, Mr. Barber, man?
So this week coming up, we're in the first whole week of August, and he goes to football practice. He said this week coming up is hell week. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But I hope it's not that bad. You don't want nobody to know he got to go through hell week. He's a sophomore. <laughs> nah, no, stop now. You act like you're going to mess my head. Stop. Take your time. I'm taking my time. I got to get some more Gatorade. He like that um, Jolly Rancher kind. <sighs> more water. And his coach said he got bread. Lots of bread. I was staring clear of bread in the house. Take your time. I know what I'm doing. All righty. Are you switching? That one's doing a good job. It's getting low down like I like it. That one's getting high. Wow. It's like, wait a minute, nigga. This, this, this is going to take it down. It's not going to take it down low enough. Is it? You're doing it. You're doing it. I get in that little brush thing too. You can wipe the hairs off. I don't have that. What kind of hair? What's that? Rabbit hair? Sheep fur? I don't know what it is. Horse hair? That one we swipe all the excess stuff off. I don't know. I do better, a little bit better around my ears. Definitely this hair. Look at all this hair. You left I'm not finished. All right, let's let the people see what you've done so far. Let me hold my hair down. Yeah, I'm holding it. You said no. Yes or no? I think you can do a better job if I hold it. But you need to get all the way down here.
Anything moving on over here? See these things right here, these points on both sides. And a little bit more right here. The points are yeah, a little bit lower right there. You had to beat me upside the head, what he's trying to do. Like come come this way. Oh no, I'm trying to keep up with it. Oh. Lower right there. Yep, it sounds like it look like a little bit. That's my hair. What is it? That's just how your skin is, man. That's my hair. Look at right here. That's hair. This is a mole in my head. It could be a mole. I mean, it's not look the same. Alrighty. Again, let's go around. Y'all tell me, did he do a good job or not? <laughs> oh, no, we're not doing no edge of Stephen A. Garrett. Edge of, I mean, Stephen A. <laughs> Stephen A. Smith, edge of. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you silly. Now, after that, I always put this on. That's why I don't have no big bumps or nothing in the back of my neck or nothing. Hollywood Beauty's Tea Tree Oil. And I take a, a bottle of somebody's pure 100% tea tree oil and put it in with it and shake it up real good. And then once I wash, I'm going to uh, take my shower and I'm going to wash my hair out real good with that, um, uh, that good shampoo. And then I'll put this in my hair. I don't need no conditioner, but I'm conditioning myself. Stop it. All right, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, he's new, so don't be mean, hateful in the comments. I'm not posting that. Thank you. Bye-bye. So I finished washing my hair. That's how it looks. Fresh new breakout. And what I told you, all that junk up, especially around the edge. Keeps you from getting bumps. You got to do that right when you get that fresh cut. I don't like when people be trying to put some alcohol. They spray the barber and the actual barber shop spray that stuff. <laughs> but that's, they be using the razors and all that other good stuff. So they got to disinfect this case. You ain't got sense enough to go home and do it yourself. I've been telling my kids ever since they've been getting haircuts, make sure you put this stuff on your head. As soon as you come from the barber shop, do it for about three days. You ain't never got to worry about being bumped up. It ain't never been bumped up. But when they didn't listen, didn't do, yep, irritation. Yes, that's what I need. Now my bleeds will lay flat. Bye, y'all.